Hi, Assalamualaikum. So today, me and my group members are going to discuss something about dynamic and mechanics of machine. The topic is about the project demonstrations. So there is a four group members in this group, which is the first one is Nick Ahmad Nazran, Muhammad Farhan Firdaus, Nurul Khairunisha, and me myself is Magat Iskandar. Alright. Okay, for the introduction. Okay, so in this assignment, we use a ping pong ball as an object for the project motion. The process is to make sure the ping pong ball can fly 1.5 meter away. So from the process, we can achieve the data for the theoretical and calculation details. Hi, my name is Ni Ahmad Nazran. I will explain about mechanism. The launcher is made from PVC pipe, a piece of wood and rubber bands. The launcher works by using mechanical mechanism. Rubber is used to launch the ping pong ball. There is no electric, electronic or chemical mechanism involved in the launcher. The height of the ping pong ball from the ground is 6.1 cm. As we can see in the picture, the angle of the launcher is 45 degree. So, the launcher works by putting ping pong ball in the PVC pipe. Then, pull the rubber band from the bottom of the launcher. Next, release the rubber band in order to launch the ping pong ball. To be more clear, let's watch the launching video together. For the setup, firstly, we need to prepare 5 cups and arrange them in a row. Put the launcher 1.5 meters away from the third cup which is at point B. Then, launch the ping pong ball from the launcher. We just need to try an error. Make sure the ping pong ball fall into the cups which is 6.1 cm in height. Record the distance of the ping pong ball that falls into the cup from the launcher. As a result, our ping pong ball falls into the fourth cup and it is 1.58 meters from the launcher. That's all. Thank you. Warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nurul Karim Shamanti Karahamidi. I'm going to present about the calculation. First, we need to solve the SLS equation. Uh, so we're going to insert all the values that we know. So we got V equals to 2.23 T. The next one, uh, on the Y axis, we're going to substitute the V equation that we got from the first equation and we got t after we got t we're going to insert the values of t into the v equation then we got the velocity value for the rubber constant uh, we're going to find the gradient from the graph of the graph that we plotted so we have the values of 65.68 to find the rubber elongation we use the principle of conservation of energy which is v1 equal to t1 so we're going to have the elongation there to find the exact elongation, we use uh, the Pythagoras theorem. So we got the 4.42 cm. Hello, my name is Farhan and I'm going to explain the discussion. Okay, for this assignment, we need to launch the ping pong ball from point A to point B by applying the projectile motion equation. Projectile motion is where position, velocity, and acceleration of a particle as it moves along a curved line in two or three dimensions. For the first part, we need to calculate the velocity and time for the ping pong ball got into the hole. That's why we're using uh, the projectile motion equation. Next, we're using the principle of conservation energy to find the elongation. After that, we plot a graph of force versus elongation to find the rubber constant by calculating its gradient. The force is obtained by hanging weight before launching the ping pong ball off and the elongation obtained by measuring the extension of the rubber band. After that, we use theorem Pythagoras to find the exact elongation of the rubber band at y axis. That's all. Thank you. Okay, for the conclusion, we can conclude that the ping pong ball can fly 1.5 meter away by using the concept of project time motion. As you see before, on the mechanism, we use a launcher and a ping pong ball to launch the ping pong ball into some distance that around 1.5 meter to gain the data and to achieve the theoretical and calculation detail. Okay, alright, that's all from us. Uh, thank you for watching.